Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Thank you for being here. I'd like to do a spread on how how uh, Backgrid's going to respond to um, the American publications pushing back on Meghan and Harry. Uh, we already know that they are starting to not buy into the narrative of their campaign and they are actually starting to speak truths. So how is Batgrid going to handle it? How is Batgrid going to fight back? Because it is rumored that Markle has shares or secret, private, silent partner. Silent partner. Yes, that's it. Silent partner. So let's see. Can I get this on here so you can see? Let me see. I got to check here. Okay, here we go. All right. I'm going to ask. You could see that. Okay, good. I can see that you could see that. Good. All right. So is Meghan Markle a silent partner of Backgrid? Is Meghan Markle a silent partner of Backgrid? Is Meghan Markle a silent partner of Backgrid? Yes. And they obviously work on her behalf, correct? Yes. Okay, so there you go. Yes, 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 yes. I had a video already, but I don't know. I was cleaning out my phone. I thought I had uploaded it already, and then I didn't. So then I had to start all over again justice in reverse she should be getting what she deserves uh but there's no truth to it uh the justice upright is about about truth and justice so there's not there's not they're not truly balancing the scales it's fraudulent really in essence so that is that i'm going to take from the next positions here so i can speed this along here we go emotional manipulation king of cups in reverse she does not have the ability to love others give love they don't, so they're really not helping anybody here. Uh, it's just straight up uh, breaking laws in essence, telling not telling the truth and just total emotional manipulation with that there. So that is a challenging position is to keep manipulating. Uh, the focal point of the, of the situation is building her up. We wanna build her up, give her that position of power and authority and to have it all, the emperor is very successful. Uh, material gains, uh, someone who's really accomplished a lot in life. So that is the focal point is to get, make her look like, make them look like they're the king and queen of California, the United States. They want to be American royalty. Hidden underneath the surface is they know uh, that they are losing, losing, losing. I'm going to make that so you can see it. I didn't realize you couldn't see it, but now you can. Here we go. Next position, past position, the recent past that no longer serves them is the nostalgia card in reverse. So there's just this lack of connection with the family. They know that. Everybody knows that. Going into the future here, we have the hangman in the reverse position, not the upright. So that is selfish traitor. They know they're traitors. So we're going to help the traders become king and queen of California. They want they wanted it now. They want it. They want to put it out quick. They want to be very aggressive. The Page of Swords is incredibly aggressive in putting out messages. So they want it quick and fast. Boom, boom, boom. You know that's that uh, chasing. They're ambulance chasers. What they jump on the bandwagon. This is sort of like jumping on the bandwagon. And we've got another story for you. Hurry up. Let's get it out there. Get it out there. The outside influences is the uh, is the eight seven of pentacles in reverse. They don't want to work on it. They don't really want to do it. They're feeling lazy. They know Megan and Harry are lazy. They really aren't working on anything. They do see them as lazy people, uh, and so that is the outside influences. So they have to do a lot of work for them to pump them up into looking like they have it all. Uh, the hopes and fears is they're hoping to make them look idealistic with the page of cups make them look good let's make us look good even though we're getting what we deserve we're telling lies and we're emotional manipulators and we're actually doomed to failure uh just make us look good just just make sure you make us look good that's all we ask and then we have here the page of pentacles in reverse 
So they're not, they're not making any progress. They're not studious. They're not academic. They don't have the intellectual abilities to do what they need to do. They're quite immature, very arrested development, not making progress. And they're not really high vibe or light by, by back grid. They see them as falling apart to the point of no return with the tower in reverse, no rebuilding. They don't see them working out. They see them falling apart. It's just like a slow death here. And that they're supposed to make them look like they're leveling up when really they're, they're, they're crumbling. They're crumbling to the point of no return. And, and, and it's because of their character here with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And they're just, uh, they've got this, this, what they desire for is just not possible. Uh, it's, it's, um, they're just too immature. They don't have that ability to do it. They don't have that intellectual. They're just so arrested and, uh, they're just, yeah, it's just, they, they see them as children, two children. They're working with two children that are literally falling apart at the seams and uh, they're impractical. They're impractical. They're dreamy. They're lazy. They don't work. They don't work. So they do a lot of work for them on their image. It's not really has anything to do with the work that they actually do because they don't do any work. They just make promises. So they see it for what it is. And they just are, tr they're actually trying to take down the monarchy too with this hierophant here in the upright. They, I think they would like to take it down to the point of no rebuilding. And so they have, they're on a mission to destroy the monarchy in essence. Yeah. And then we have here that they, they know, they know that Megan and Harry are burdened and unhappy. And so they want to, they want to, they want to see new things, but they're not capable. Um, and they would like to be happy. They like to be seen in a good positive light, but they're actually in the dark and they're living in the dark and they're kind of dark people but they're trying to work on, uh, you know, is the juice worth the squeeze to even work with this pair because they hate working with them and they're such a burden to work with. They're just a heavy load to carry working with them. And they see them as testing the relationship that Markle's not very nurturing and abundant. She's not capable of being abundant. She's not capable of loving herself nor other people. And she's quite rude, ruthless, unkind, unnurturing energy. And we have here, and it's looking like there's going to be total failure here in front of the world with the world in reverse. She's not liked. She cannot recognize the suffering of others. It's a complete facade. It is cognitive empathy, not true empathy. No nurturing, not ability to recognize the suffering of others. Neither one of them can. It is cognitive empathy, cognitive empathy cannot feel and be loving and nurturing to others not possible so they want everything and they want it super fast but they wish they could slow things down and it's also negative news negative messaging really in order to make themselves look like they're loving and they have they wear their their heart on a sleeve but really they're not capable it's been a poor business plan uh the pr campaign is failing it hasn't been they don't feel it's been successful and so they really don't want to put out the negative. They're not allowed to put out the negative messages either because they are falling apart. They're supposed to f take the negativity and flip it so that people would fall in love with them and think that they're loving individuals who, who walk around with their heart on a sleeve in essence. But they see them as, as uh, suffering from loneliness, isolation with a lot of emotional letdowns and disappointments. Also, the baby card in reverse is the Ace of Cups. So questioning whether or not they actually have children because they do so much photoshopping so this is the baby card in reverse upright is the ace of cups upright it is in reverse no bit where's the children they really haven't seen the children in any meetings or anything i would say zoom meetings and stuff they don't see any improvement with the entanglement with them they don't really want to work with them it's not improving everything they've done has not had much of an effect and so as a result, they're kind of at this last stand with them. We're, you know, really burning out here. And they have some difficult decisions to make regarding the liars, uh, that they're wearing a mask, a facade, they're betrayers. They're someone that they're like a snake in the grass. And they've got to make some clear decisions for the snake in the grass, two snakes in the grass, uh, because they're lying about everything with the Ace of Swords in reverse. And they're just, you know, this is clouded inside as poor judgment and lies. And they would like to cut it out. They want to stop. They wish they could stop. 
And then we have here, they want to try to respect the differences with the five of wands in the reverse. Uh, and they're getting very, they're losing their cool. They're losing their patience with them. Really losing their patience with them because they're very difficult to work for and take orders from them. And there's a lot of devil energy with all the, all the exchanges and the conversations that they have. There's usually always a, it's always a challenge. And at this point, because she's a, a secret partner, she works with them. They've got to try and respect the differences with her, but respecting the differences with her to keep this devil under control is just a lie because they just see right through her. They see the lies. They see the entanglement difficulty. They see the failure coming. Uh, and so that's just how they view them. Basically the way we see them. Yes, not much difference. Uh, but their job is to make her, her, make them look uh, different than what they truly are. So they realize they're lying. They're lying through their teeth because we got the justice in reverse as the very first card. That's completely lying uh, with the justice in reverse. So they really don't want to be doing that for them. Uh, it's dishonesty. It's total unfairness. It's not the cause and effect that they truly deserved. Uh, it's not balancing the scales. It's not truth. They feel that they probably should be getting what they deserve and they're not. So that is that. And they just want to be celebrities. That was on the bottom there when I would just put it all together. So they're just out for celebrity. Let's get some uh, about the American press. The American press. What's the American press going to do? It's going to be a different ball game with the American press. I can tell you that because they are starting to come out swinging. American press, she wants to be seen as the queen of pentacles, but it's all coming to light that she's not capable. She cannot, she cannot gather her resources uh, within her lies and deception. She, all her resources is lies, deception. It's an illusion. It's a mirror. It's, 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 it's fantasy. It's a total fantasy. It's the Megan show, but it's all coming to light that it's the Megan show, that she's trying to appear as though she's got it all, but she really doesn't. So that's what the American media is going to do. And she's being rejected. And everybody would like to walk away. Since, since walking away from the British monarchy, and she's been getting the thumbs down. And the Americans are giving her a thumbs down from walking away. And that's the challenging position to get her likable. To even get them to believe her, her fantasy of, of her life and how she is. And even how she came to be Meghan Markle is a lie. And so all that's being come to light. And that's the challenging position. And she is going to be viewed as a failure, a letdown, without any creative content or ability to create anything. Since walking away, she's had this pressure to do it. And so she's in a, in a pickle, in essence. And the focal point is there's no nostalgia. You know, she dumped her family. She doesn't have sentimental feelings for family or anybody for that matter. And they see her as not getting her the wish fulfillment. We have here the wish fulfillment card in reverse, 10 of cups in reverse. So nobody's happy, no happy family, not connected to family, does not have nostalgic feelings for anybody, any family, her side or Harry's side. This is what they're going to say. We got here for the past, the, the recent past position was a crash and burn and the sad goodbye. And now they're stuck in this position where they're at going into the future. The American media, what's the American media going to say? And if you're hearing all this pop, 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 fireworks over the lake to my right shoulder, you guys. And poor Odin is freaking out. I have them all cuddled up somewhere with dad right now so poor little guy here we go a lot yeah we get like three we we used to get like five nights of fireworks it's, it's horrible it's a bad part about being on a lake okay so here we go these whoa got more than i expected for the feelings in the situation feelings in the situation is we have here the lovers are actually heartbroken and they know they're going to break they know that they're not happy there's a lot of triangulation a lot of betrayal with this couple with both sides of the family that uh, they're not uh, harvesting, uh, they're, they're not harvesting money. They're not, it's not working out between them. It's simply not working out. The juice is not the, worth the squeeze between these two cup with this couple, nor is it even probably working for them or doing anything to paint them as, as doing this and painting them as a healing position. They're not going to do that. They're going to paint them as they are the betrayers. They are the betrayers. And they thought it would be worth it to, to, be, to be those type of betrayers, to not be connected and disconnect from everyone. 
and thinking that they're going to rise up as being loving individuals in the face of it, which really is asinine, if you ask me. And I hear the pop, 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 pop. It's just crazy out there. Okay, I get enough fireworks. That's enough fireworks, you guys. And they're huge. They're like a, something you would see at a big show. Here we go. Uh, next position, the outside influences is the Seven of Cups in reverse. So that's the choices card, and it's in reverse. They're out of choices. They don't have choices. Everything they've done has been reckless. They've, every decision has been read to, re you know, it's recklessness. It's been a, an illusion that did not pan out. They're not getting what their wants and desires are. Seven of Cups uprights getting what you want. You know, it could be reckless, but it ended up being completely, utterly reckless to the point they don't have any choices at this point in time. They are really against a brick wall, so they're going to talk about that. So they're not going to paint them in a good light. Hopes and fears, they realize that they're going to try to do it because they want to keep putting the story out. That's the three of pentacles. It's good for money. It's good for business for them. So they want to keep doing it and, and advertise the nastiness going on because it's good for business. Uh, that is, that is, that's pretty much a business card. That three of pentacles really is a profession card. And then we have here, yeah, they're going to keep that entanglement going with the devil uh, because it's good for money. It's back to materialism. They're gonna they're gonna do it because it's good for it's good for magazine sales. It's good for article sales. So it's good. To, it's be, it's benefiting uh, the American press uh, to to do this nast to do the story of what I've been doing and other people have been doing. Because look, this is what they truly are, and uh, it's gonna draw a lot of attention. It will draw a lot of attention because that's the energy they have. And it sells magazines. In essence, it will sell magazines to actually end up reporting the truth now as it's coming unfolding. That love bombing phase is over. There is no love bombing cards on here. There is no hearts and emojis on here. There's no two of cups. There's there's no love here on this table. It's in reverse. Uh, that ten of cups in reverse. So they're completely emotionally broke. Uh, with the ten of cups in reverse, that's not someone who's getting what they want. Desires are broken, uh, family's broken, dreams are shattered, desires are shattered, everything's falling apart, peace, there's no peace there whatsoever. So they're going to they're gonna publish all of that, all of that, they are going to publish that. So that is going to be what's going to happen, that's what we can expect. Let's get some more cards. And we have here, yeah, they want that, there's that three of cups, that's community, there's a community card here with the cat which is what does that say falseness yes the community is false so everything they've done in terms of pleasure seeking is false they're really not happy and they're not happy to work for them nobody's happy to work for them nobody likes working for them so it sort of kind of like gives me the vibes of um the bullying situation uh, because they're totally false and there's that three people here which to me represents another, um, like a three of cups or a three of pentacles. A three is about creation, expansion, and growth. So all that creation, expansion, and growth, pleasure seeking for growth is all false. So it's all a false narrative. There's that falseness there. There's Yeah, so yeah, interesting. Fun stuff. Here we go. Let's get some more. Boom, here we go. Twin flames. Ooh, twin flames. They're complementing each other, so they belong together. <laughs> That's what people say. Let them stay together. They belong together. Yes, they do. And they're soulmates. Oh, my God. They're going to say, they're, they, hey, they can just be miserable together. <laughs> they can just be miserable together. Yes. That's what they will say. And then we got here the golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist and love bombing. Yes, yes. They deserve each other, all right. And the keys on the ring. So they're looking for options. They don't want, you know, they want to string people along. It's sort of a one night stand. Everything's quick and fast. Uh, let's quickly let's jump on this bandwagon. Let's let's make ourselves look good. The narcissist card. Let's do it fast. Let's. It's unconventional, but let's string them along with our news coverage of being perfect and having all these three of pentacles and three of cups. And we're just so perfectly getting along well and everything's so great. It's all false. So they deserve each other. They're going to probably talk about how they deserve each other. They're just a match made in, in hell. <laughs> match made in hell. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hear that cracking popping. Do you hear that? I don't know if you can, but I certainly can. I'm going to go check on my boy Odin now because I know he's freaking out, my poor little guy. All right, you guys, until next time, like and subscribe. And thanks for the super thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.